Oh boy. Oh shit. Damn it. That's annoying. Every single time I update my graphics driver, that's annoying. Max frame rate. 236. Wait a minute, does it tell you how many times you've beaten it? That's kind of cool. I gotta check that. No. Go back to the main menu. I'm curious. I've never looked at that before. Do these on this map. Oh, nope, it's just if they were our current. Because I keep killing my communities when I'm done with them. Okay, no, never mind. cooking Medicine. I also need a sheriff. That's extra defensible. Time to settle down. Preferably with some good looting nearby.
There's literally already a feral. That's funny. I've got to find a place to settle down. I already got all I can handle. I've got to find a place to settle down. <laughs> Get ready. Port incoming. You guys don't have to fight. I gotta rest a sec. Checking in and getting started now. Needs new just about everything, but it's the right place for us. Come on. The brainless are gone, so it's time for us to claim this place and move in. Place to put that. Not gonna fit. What do you mean that's Place to put that. Could I be any louder? No sight nor scent of Zeds. Getting shit done. Great. And that should be it. Done. Great. Are empty. That's what I like. <coughs> Step two find useful stuff.
Nothing more to find here. Let's go. I can't keep this up. Building this base up into something real. We need help over here, so I'm putting out a call for volunteers. Interested? I'm headed your way. Hold the fort. Understood. place like home. Home just got better. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. Those things basically infect their whole environment. It's not a pretty sight. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. You better gear up before starting this. Could get messy. Helping out like this is a good way to make friends. Off. We can use allies out here. <laughs> I don't know why I had to waypoint that. I'm dumb. Because if I can't see. Wow, that's a very good find for right now. Especially for what I was planning to do. Let's make a deal. I don't see why not.
too loud. I need a break. Take a break with Kit Kat. Just drop nice. Business partner. I don't see why not. Now we standing magic. Oh nice, he teleported? <laughs> That's funny, never seen that before. We should break ground on an outpost over there. Like, now? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark.
Okay, I must be blind. <laughs> Certified blind man, I guess. Okay, whatever. This might be useful. It's all night. Too loud. <laughs> it sucks that we can't enjoy these quiet moments anymore. Loader is so gross.
Oh boy. You fucking trollers. Just a sec. <laughs> Nada. On to the next. Smells like blood. Must be a plague heart nearby. Better watch out for plague zombies. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this might just clear up. Oh, this again. Fabulous.
Now that's heavy. Wonderful smell we've discovered. I need a breather. Jump on this window, are you for real? Dude, not at all what I'm trying to do. Can you stop fucking busting up the windows, please? Or the doors? Fuck. Just running by and my character's like, oh, I'm gonna do a, a side swipe. Because why not?
I pressed it. That's a scam. I got scammed. I got scammed. I went and grabbed next to his head and my character's like, no. You missed actually, buddy. Yo, dude, that told me I was in jail. He got pranked. Why would I be in jail? Do I look like the kind of person to commit crimes? If it was illegal to be cringe, then I would be getting the death penalty, though. Community community. Why did I feel weird playing? I turn on this AC one second. Yeah, if you haven't played in a while, it's a lot to take in. Did you make sure to turn on max curveballs and all that shit, or were you too scared? And I don't mean that in a mean way, I'm just asking. Depends on what you want. You want to start off the map? Oh my god, the driving is so fucking garbage. Anyways, Trader Moon starts you off with 4k influence, and then you get a trader to spawn there to give you a bunch of resources to start. Warlord gives you starting weapons and a shit ton of ammo. I think it's good for the AI. Have them defending your base a little easier from the get-go. You know me, I'm a giga chat. I don't use any of that. Everything's essential influence. Resources, you gotta keep yourself alive. With these plague samples, I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. We're happy to share the recipe if you need it. Thanks, buddy. See you soon. You didn't see where what? Are you talking about the curveball settings? So, you go into this tab up here where it shows difficulty, blah, 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 blah. In the bottom left corner, it'll tell you toggle curveball settings. That's where you can check them. The 
only have the left four. Oh, um. Well, if you haven't had curveballs yet, you have to get it, or you have to wait until you get to day five. Maybe that's why. Day five in game. Then it should let you do the customization and stuff. If I remember correctly, I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh, I'm back and alive. What's good? Okay, so I need materials. Yeah, I bought it as well. I'm currently watching uh, Power Central's video. I'm pretty excited, actually. I'm 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 impressed with the game. I hate that I had to get his influence to know about the game because it's such a small thing, but it looks very promising. I'm about four hours into the video. Can we watch the intro? Unless I forget that you can dodge out of a scream stun lock, which is nice. Thank Christ, because I'm so fucking tired of getting that stun animation. Yeah, the game looks epic. Okay, I guess you can't jump up that like that. Yeah, that would be fun. I'm just a little preoccupied at the moment. But yeah, it could also be a game. Well, I would know because I've been watching the video, but it's replayable, procedurally generated, etc., etc. Looks like that screamer's about to barf. So. Some of the environments are random every time you play, which is good, which again, yeah, causes replayability. Just like this game, especially with the curveballs. Every time is unique. I don't like the intro, though. This game has the same spawning point. There's like so many map or houses on in this game that they could just make you spawn at. So at least there's some, it's a little random every time you play, you know what I mean? That'd be cool. I can handle. What? Oh. oh. This character's fired. I, I mean, I think there's a lot of variety. There is a lot of... Like, a lot of learning curves, a lot of things to <clears throat> understand. I mean, I can't believe I played for so many years and I didn't realize how strong that fighting mechanic is that I use now, where I throw zombies into a others and whatever it makes the environment way easier to survive in and fight it also makes me absolutely despise melee even more like that's why i just use the close combat because the animation is so quick and swift and yeah fuck melee all my homies hate melee well, that was noisy yeah, I learned that too. I thought that was funny. I didn't realize that you could do that in this game. I trolled on accident. Your ideas aren't just for shit. Now they're pissing me off. Actually. Down to the last magazine here. I didn't realize she was right here. Beauty rest, or even just rest. I'm not picky. I remember the last time I prayed. I was 12 years old, and my grandma had just had a stroke over my undead body, literally. So, where was I? 
Ah, uh, yes. I remember the last time I prayed. Don't care. Been asked. The voice acting is meh. I mean, it's not bad. Like, there are some people who genuinely sound like they're in fear. <laughs> like, when they're dying and whatever, and they're screaming. Like, some of it's believable, but... A lot of it feels generic. Not in a bad way. Like, I, I don't... I didn't expect State of Decay to have... <laughs> popped your voice acting. It's not really what's important in this game. It's not the worst I've seen, but it's also not the best. Also, if you take a flat surface and you spam your melee button when you throw a zombie, you can, like, hella level up your fighting super quick. It, like, multiplies the XP for some reason while you're chasing them. Which I like. I hope they keep in the game, because fighting takes way too long to level up. All clear. Find some lines cringing. So whenever I throw a zombie that's by themselves, you can actually, you can cancel, like you can dodge out of the animation to keep doing it again with the same zombie, but I don't know if it's just I'm not good at repeating the act or if maybe they fixed it in a way to where you can't do it with the same zombie. But if you grab a zombie from behind and throw them, with, while you're in the animation of pushing them and like recovering, if you spam E and walk towards them, your character will go into that kind of like jockeying animation or like running animation to get towards them. Because of that, you can um, abuse it and you it is for some reason it multiplies like a huge amount of XP towards the player or the towards the zombie. I'll show you in a second. Uh, need a zombie though. Better not let that feral charge me. Here, I'm gonna kill this group. Well, I'll kill all but one, obviously. Can't do it. I'll save this one. You gotta have. You gotta do it on a flat, like a mostly flat service. It makes it easier. But if you have some stamina and you spam shift and spam E when your character's in that animation where they like pull out their knife, that means you know it might be working. But yeah, you have to spam your melee finisher button as fast as you can. Like that there. It didn't, it didn't work because I didn't pull out my knife. But I'm also, again, on a not very flat surface. Yeah, like right there. When I was doing that, chances are it was working. It's just on lethal zone. It requires a lot of XP, but you'll notice, especially with some XP bonuses, like from Enclaves and stuff, you'll notice um, pretty much every time I'm throwing down a zombie and I do that and I do it right, I'll get a star or two. Like, there we go. I just got another. Apparently you can kind of do a similar feature with wits, but I don't really care. I just care about getting fighting because I want to get close combat or endurance. What's that dotted line around my outpost and main base? I don't have any outposts right now, so I don't really know what you mean. The dotted line, I'm going to assume that's like the... I honestly couldn't tell you. I really don't know what that could be. building right next to my main base yeah I don't know what you're talking about and I'm not even gaslighting <laughs>
Blade zombies in all directions. Better be careful. Hold on, let me on to bed. Just spotted a feral. Look at that, I got another star and I just leveled it up. Epic, very pog. Tell him I said hi. There he is. This shit is fucking goaded. I mean, it is if you have the spare space, but I realistically prefer to get knowledge of herbalism and then I get one hydroponics. Obviously, you need knowledge of utilities for that. Look at that, I got another star. Um. Hydroponics, and then I get one for meds production, one for food production. I constantly am rationing my food. That way I always have food and meds income. <clears throat> Knowledge of what? Gardening, yes. When you max out gardening, one of the specializations is for herbalism, and the other one is for something else. But I always get herbalism now. At least I will be doing that starting from my next, or my previous community, but that way I can have, yeah, meds production and food production. Got it. Fantastic. Huh. But yes, it's a garden specialization. Me? Oh, we shouldn't have. There's a lot of shit to loot in here. with other things like making sure you're stocked up on like everything else or um something for example like i'm about to build is a latrine it's a boost morale as well i don't really worry about having a garden early game it's not really going to benefit me it doesn't really give me enough that's just me personally though there's stuff on the roof must be outside. Poo poo, yes. Shitting and cleaning up after yourself makes people happy. Which is good. Oh look, more nothing. That's a lot of stuff. There's another one.
Zoinks. Where's the mysterious broadcast at? I'll do it just to get rid of the notification. I'll take care of this curveball. Blow my car right now. And we're all done here. Uh oh. Um, so it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't necessarily better benefit it, at least to my understanding, it doesn't. However, what is good about it is. Once you level them up fully and you can like, you know, specialize in cooking, if you specialize in um, nutrition, once you have that maxed out, which will obviously happen over time with rationing, it does, I guess, give you a better yield, if not lesser bad stats. So it doesn't make the loss of stamina or whatever the stats are le as severe. So I think it's worth it. materials but it's above the reduces yeah basically And I'm going to get punished for it. That is awesome. Honestly, that is awesome. Genuinely great game design where the car just flips over nothing. I love that. Thank you. Thank you, Undead Labs. I appreciate it. I got to go put them in the sick bed since I don't have cure yet. Actually, I can probably make some. Yeah. That's yeah, fucking dumb. Conveniently place a blower next to it, and I barely hit the side of the rock, and my car flipped. It's fucking stupid. Yes, you will. I'll go give it to him. Oh, that's right. He didn't need to be put in the bed. Just gotta find him. It's time for us to build some goodwill with the neighbors. You need to heal, buddy. And then I'll take care of what you want. my car didn't blow up. I guess that was one good thing out of it. Nice. Extra morale. Yeah, that's the 
place I'm looking for. Here's the mission objective box, which I feel like 99% of the time has the objective item in it. Nope, not this time. Hey, not bad. Yeah, I knew I'd find it. I found one of my aunt's prepper plans. It's in code, but if I decipher it, maybe I can figure out where she went. Damn, that's crazy. Nothing more to find here. Let's go. I don't really know. I think they're all pretty generic. I mean, some of them give you cool weapons and shit, but in reality, they're pretty mid. But good question. Looks clear to me. I've started to enjoy having ammo as my income. This outpost done. And I can even level it up. That's crazy. There we go. If we don't clean up some infestations, we're gonna be fucked. Oh, Hope they're not happy I'm here. I didn't mean to run into these hordes. I'd rather you guys go and deploy yourselves so I can... If I can get more influence that way, but... Fucking griefers.
Those FPS drops fucking suck. I don't know where those came from. I just updated my drivers too. I think it's the game though. Alright, can I go back to what I was doing now? Huh. What time is your one of your sir? Loot wise, um I don't know. I like I said, I feel like they're mostly just pertaining to their own stories. I don't really think of many of them providing something such as loot. I mean the only one I can think of that comes to mind is there's one that's builder boon related, where you're um you go to find like a warehouse and it has like conveniently like a fuck ton of uh material rec stacks in there here. which make it even better that's the only one i can really think of That was cool. I took care of that horde pretty well. Except for the part where I got bit. But that'll happen sometimes, I guess. You'll be fine. Okay, so you're in your streaming animation and it makes you magically ignore that I just shoved you? Okay. Your thing, buddy. Oh, you know what? I should probably... Looks like they're about to go into my outpost anyways. Christ, the zombies are yep, all over our I knew outpost. it. I'll go for the head. Works for me though. Easy influence. They shouldn't be able to stop it. Just saying. my character doing i wasn't trying to do that you know i'm just gonna bring them to base actually no there's way too many get them away from my car and i'll drive away Yeah, I believe they're trying to figure or fix that issue out. At least I'd hope so.
Umbra. Plague zombies in all directions. Better be careful. Oh boy, another horde. Or they're gonna magically bite my neck. Never mind. Cool. I'm looking to do some trading. Sounds like a plan. Well, these aren't worth a damn thing right now. Nothing I can do about it either. Got Just anything gonna... useful you're looking to unload? No, yeah, that sounds about right. Damn. Be there in a bit. Thanks. Gave me three influence. Fuck, that's right. Yeah, this one sucks. Alright, guys, I'm ready to get back in the game. Damn it. Now we're I hate you so fucking much. I'm gonna get better without help. one i think all maps have their pros and cons i think my least favorite is providence ridge mostly because i don't like how slow it is to drive up hills and shit because 90 percent of its hills doesn't make up for it when you get to go downhill because your car to my understanding gets to a locked speed anyways So that would be my least favorite if I had to give if I had to give one. I gotta rest. But once you have like a fast vehicle though, it's fine. I don't really use the landmark outpost. I typically resort to things such as um and so many hordes. I don't know what the fuck's going on.
But I know one of them is pretty good. I, I don't know where it is, though, because, again, I don't use them very often. And they're for cheaper, too, so some of them give good benefits while also not costing as much. morale that, is that on this map is that why you're bringing it up i feel like it is level two lounge i see Container for it's such a shitty outpost. Or I mean shitty base. In my personal opinion. Because then the AI go are stupid and they go by the front door where it's like very enclosed and then they get beat up by a jug and die. I didn't know that leaders could threaten to leave. That's pretty cringe. Hey, hon. You're welcome to come in. I appreciate the help. Don't be gone for too long. All right. See ya. It's good to see your ugly mug. Get in here. Yeah, I know about that one. Yeah, just ignore me trying to grab you, buddy. Enjoy peace eternal, asshole. Shit about the materials instead. Damn, too loud. Supplies delivered. Go me. Guess I'll stick around after all if you start listening to me. Shut up. Why am I getting so many hordes right now? Crazy. The armor's gone. 
You miss. You literally miss. Oh my god. I'm gonna get. Give me an opportunity to fight back. Fuck. Uh, how are all these missing? How are all these missing? Dude, fuck you. So fucking annoying. And then you won't jump up. You. I'm not. Mm -mm. No, I just spammed space bar against the fucking fence. But the game is so fuck. <laughs> I think it's alright. I don't like it. I think it's a waste. I think anything aside from weapon handling is not worth it, personally. In that instance, it might have been beneficial for me, but in my defense, I just spammed spacebar to try and evade that barrel, and my character just stood there like a fucking dingleberry instead of actually jumping the fence like they're supposed to. This game has auto-vaulting, so when you're holding shift and you're running towards a, a barricade or whatever, your character will jump over it, except in that particular instance, the game decided not to. I'm spamming spacebar, I'm holding W, and I'm holding shift, and my... Okay. Game's a fucking troll. Fuck you. You're not doing that to me. Uh uh. You're not doing that to me. Absolutely not. I don't care if there's the feral on me, but they spawn two bloaters and a horde next to me. It's so fucking stupid. Fuck this game. Literally, I should not have died in that encounter, anyways. Fucking dumb. They need to fix this shit. Better fix it in their last update that they're hoping to, or alleging that they're going to fix everything. I will keep respawning if the game fucks me over repeatedly. There we go. Fuck, and give me the chance. There we go. Kiss my ass. Undead Labs. But yeah, anything that's not weapons handling i don't think it's worth it being able to repair your well you don't repair your weapon you unjam it which makes it not broken for a moment but it's so worth it in my opinion because weapons cost way too much scrap in my opinion to repair so the fact that i can just infinitely use a weapon is a godsend weapons can't be permanently broken however if you use scrap or parts to repair it it'll completely fix it but if you, say, for example, have a shitty suppressor on it, it's going to damage and break it faster, so eventually it's going to break again. With weapons handling, it will make it go from or red to yellow, if not slightly before it. I can't fucking believe that shit, dude. I was planning on this fucking playthrough. I wasn't going to fucking leave in the middle of a fight to respawn, but I had no choice. I was fucking spamming shift and W and jump to go over the fence. At the very least, and the game is like, nah, you're not gonna do that. Best I can do is you're gonna get bit. You can kiss my ass. I'm gonna see if resting up will take care of this. Just Lamau. Yeah, kiss my ass. This is, it's the same thing as when the feral situation was really bad when the game first came out. Or, I'm sorry, when Lethal first came out and Ferals could give you Blood Plague even though you successfully dodged them, so you would still get Blood Plague without taking damage, mind you. And then if there's a group of three of them, you'd get Blood Plague in three jumps and then you're dead. So I started leaving the game and relaunching it whenever the Ferals would do that, or when a group of Ferals would spawn. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Just fix your shit before you fucking release an update. Lazy asses. Five times the zombie amount. That's nuts. I need food. We probably got good shit to trade. I'm gonna go take care of this mission. I'm tired of it being on my on my map all the time. It was always on my map last game. I think the only guy I've watched that does like State of Decay content that I enjoyed was um Brian Menard, I think is his name. Minards. Lol. That cloud would kill me 
dead. Yeah, it wanted me to go take care of it all the way in the black heart. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I prefer my sanity game. Thanks, though. Let me actually get... Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm looking at the zombie. Oh, you want to go up here? I gotta rest a sec. I love when this game ruins my mood, which is quite often with its bullshit. Dear God, I'm tired. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know this, his ethnicity. I thought he was more Hispanic than anything, but... God, I am so sick of plague zombies. I'm only doing this too because I want it to give me extra opportunities for missions. I don't like that this hogs up one of the mission slots. again. Fabulous. If I can't use it, maybe someone else can. 
No room. That's not what I'm trying to do. You got a minute? I'm like 900 meters away. Motherfucker, don't pay attention. I didn't even need to go up here, I forgot. But since I was already here. I wonder if it still runs. That's enough looking around for now. Oh, there's no, nothing to loot. Don't worry about it. I don't remember what conversation we were having. I don't know what you mean. That's one ugly ass juggernaut. That's pretty annoying. It's such a pointless thing, like I don't, that I don't care about. I'm gonna stop grabbing all the loot though. they will despawn. When I have to leave the game again. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes like, you have to go straight up to the item to be able to do that. But I get what you mean. This one doesn't really give that prompt. If only I had room for it. We appreciate your results in this matter. Fuck. Oh, I guess I ended up grabbing all of it anyway.
Check here for some food. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's come silence. I can't remember. It's either this map or the one that I was just playing, which was Meager County, but one of them apparently has like, it's the most flat, which I think it's actually this one, but there's like water in between or something, but you can just drive through it. Or maybe it was Meager. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, most maps have pros and cons. I just like the variety. I like playing all of them. My goal is to, once I finish this one, I'm going to do Trumbull Valley. And then after that, I'm going to go from left to right in order. It's random. I'm going to consider in my brain the first slot, which I don't want to do random anymore. Um, considering it might give me something I don't want, at least that I just did or whatever. So I'm going to just start going from left to right. There's Drucker County, Meager Valley, Providence Ridge. Did I say Trumbull Valley? Trumbull Valley, Meager Valley, Providence Ridge, Drucker County, and then there's one more. Not Windmill, but Sawmill. Sawmill's Providence, yes. Oh, really? A container fort is meager. Meager Valley, I'm pretty sure. And I hate that one. Let's make this mag count, kiddos. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. They're also injured, so nothing I could do there. around for a good place to ransack <laughs> cascade hills is the one yeah we didn't say i'll just go ahead and start then Like maybe in terms of thumbnails yeah i don't know i don't really see the, the similarities i think i don't i don't pay attention much Exactly what I wanted, but it'll do. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I don't really get that vibe from Cascade. I just get that from Providence. Providence feels very foggy. <laughs> I'm always tweaking. That's why I went to jail, I remember. Kappa. Oh shit. This will slow me down. I don't want it though. I'd rather have a sanitizing hand machine which doesn't require power. Right here. Blood boring. What cracker are you smoking, girl? Well, I could have been louder. Yeah, it's definitely got some nice bases. I like the one that crafts materials. That one's always a banger. Bonus nice, but I don't like using them. Makes the game too easy. So then I get to start the game with the hydroponics. That was noisy. I'll go here. Maybe he, they've still got those two. Uh, Materials rock stacks that I can yoink off of them. Because of that, I will call in a fellow follower. Can we slow down for a second? Yeah, that would be nice. Just trying to get a level two workshop, bro. I just want to craft fucking vehicle repair kits. But I always have to go for infirmary too first, so that way my players can heal injuries. I think that's most important for survivability's sake. It's just rumors did end. Cool. Yeah, with weapons handling, I don't really care about durability. Because, like, again, I can always just repair my vehicle on the field. Not fully, but you know what I mean. Barrel incoming. I did not want to know what makes plague territory smell this bad. I guess it's 
That's so funny that you can do that. Fucked up, but it's funny. Hold up for a bit. There he is. Staying safe out there? You got something for me? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's so annoying. What the fuck? Now all they have is food. I got scammed. I didn't sign up for this kind of horse shit. That's annoying. I just ran all the way over here for literally nothing. And I mean, they have a, a fuck ton of. Okay, where is this? I'll go take care of this then. Ignore my dodge, ignore my dodge. I'm gonna go play with friends. Sorry, man, take care. Nice talking to you. Fucking running simulator. What's the point of evading if it doesn't work? Fuck you.
Ay, ay, ay. Okay, no Zeds around, but we can't secure the place with a plague. Maybe I should get started on that. Apparently, it's not in here. Maybe. me Is anyone going to use their brains to actually think? You know, while we still have them? Sweet. No, I'm not too happy about all this. Damn, too loud. Hey, good to see you again. Y'all got nothing. Game is definitely hard mode right now. Damn, too loud. We're running real short on building materials here, guys. Coming your way, whether you like me or not. Thanks. The clock is ticking, okay?
I did not want to know what makes Plague Territory smell this bad. Break. Do you for real? Just that one plague sample? Okay, well then I'll just hold off. I'm glad you showed up. I don't know what I would have done without you. Thanks. Actually, do you guys... Okay here? You got something for me? All right. Nope, of course not. <laughs> Just want to find some building materials or a toolkit, please. Game, I beg. I want to build my workshop to level two. in here maybe pretty please i beg just open it me here comes my fan club oh okay i'm making donut step two i got materials
I need one more material after I drop this off. That's crazy. Unless... Oh, it requires more because I got to deposit one more thing of materials anyway, so... Looks like that screamer's about to barf. I'm actually gonna be. Oh wait, oh fuck, I'll finish the mission I guess. seen any other vehicles have I no don't think so actually you know what I did see that there we go there's my my prayer for now anyways Oh boy, I have to pee. That's around, but we can't secure the place for Plague Heart close by.
smart move in must really fuck up property values. Can we fucking go already? Okay, come on, bro. That was a headshot, and that didn't count as a headshot. Are you fucking for real? And I'm out. Fuck you, bro. I shot you in the fucking head and you just blew it off like it was nothing. How would I get this job again? Okay, I went directly behind you, but because you're next to the wall, the game decided to spare your life. Okay, never mind. I was gonna try and loot it for materials, but never mind. You win, you can have it. Better be careful. Catching the plague would really cramp my style. Is that it? Not exactly what I wanted, but Fuck yeah. it'll do. Oh, what are you doing? I'm holding B.
That's a lot of stuff. Vent. Got some zombies nearby. Can't do it. <laughs> so weak. Careful. Get close. This is great. for five seconds you guys you don't need to keep doing zombie spawning simulator trying to play the game and progress please it'd be appreciated bro i fucking got right behind him fuck you i know exactly what i'm doing fuck off fucking bullshit Let me just clarify really quick. This is a curveball where there's not supposed to be extra spawning zombies, but it's magically spawning zombies. This is so fucking idiotic, dude. Just let me play. Nobody's yelling. Nobody's saying shit. Fucking take it. Stupid. Fucking stupid. How do we make the game harder? We're just gonna spam zombies. Because that's all we can do. Feeling like shit's going our way. Nobody fucked this up. I'm stupid. I have the bike here on me. <laughs> That's funny. Well, that was noisy. All right. 
Last mag in. Oh my god, I have to pee. I need to pee. I gotta watch the noise. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this might just clear up. I don't think I can go much longer without a rest. Right here. Later. Hey, Sheriff. Someone in our community was killed, and the murderer might be one of us. We need your help on this. I'm in. Looks like they're done waiting for us. He's about to hit us.
think this place is worth it. That is stupid. Get off. Okay, that works too. After all, I do not have to run carrying all this. Place is empty. Better move on. My man doesn't have it either. This guy's getting exiled real quick. Fuck that. No marathon cringe. I guess I'll do powerhouse.
yourself successful. And on that note, I am hopping off. Thank you guys for watching live. I'll watch the VOD after the fact. I appreciate any and all support. I might be on tomorrow. Not too sure, honestly. Um, I wish everybody a wonderful rest of their day and or night. I'll be back on s next time I can. Take care, everybody. See you soon. I'm a